Welcome to Mr. Muscle, Lion vs. Tiger, which one is stronger when it comes to strength? Today I will prove why lions are stronger when it comes to brute and raw strength, so in this video, we will not prove who's stronger based on scientific research. If you want to compare their capabilities on scientific basis, then go to the link in the comment section below. There you can see who's stronger based on science. In this video, we will compare both of their strength feats and then see which one is stronger. And when I said strength feats, I don't mean their bite force or their paw strength, because as you all know, both lion and tiger have an equal bite force. And as for their paw strength, do not believe these senseless claims that have no backup source, because 10,000 pounds is the weight of a light duty truck. And to think that a tiger's paw strength is equivalent to a truck is completely senseless. If you want to know who strikes harder, Based on scientific research, I will mention another link in the comments below. Go check that out. In this video we will compare their strength feats that are based on just raw strength alone and take note that we will only compare the the evidence that our eyes have witnessed meaning the feats that have actual footage because published accounts with no actual proof of footage hold little weight, especially a generation where everyone has an access to shoot an incident. So, let's start. Here you can see a lion is trying to snatch a wildebeest carcass from a Nile crocodile and not only is he taking the carcass from the crocodile, it's pulling crocodile out of the water along with the carcass too. And in the end, the crocodile gave up and the lion succeeded in snatching the carcass. Now how much weight did the lion pull? Let's analyze. This croc is at least 15 feet long and probably weigh around 600 kg, and the wildebeests can get to 250 kg, but this one is a carcass, and it's missing its head so we will assume that the carcass is 200 kg at least, and the pulling force of a saltwater crocodile is 5 tons, supposing that the Nile crocodile is only slightly weaker than a saltwater crocodile, its pulling strength should be 4.5 ton. So, 4.5 tons plus 200 kilograms plus 600 kilogram. This lion is dragging 5.3 tons of weight. And take note that this is just an average size male lion. He is not one of the larger ones. On contrary, you will never see anything even close to this from a tiger. Even though they coexist with much smaller and much weaker mugger crocodiles, the most we have seen a tiger do to a crocodile is this tigress whose name was Mackley killing this mugger crocodile, and though it's an incredible hunting feat, it's not entirely a strength feat that is based on raw strength alone. Hunting involves stealth, ambush and strength but it's not based on raw strength alone, like this lion pulling this tremendous weight. Next up we have lion dragging a giraffe carcass. Now I know that some people will say that the carcass is in a puddle of mud which is acting as a lubricant which makes it easy for a lion to drag it, what they don't realize it is that the lion is also in the puddle, which means he does not have firm footing, as the surface below his feet is soft and slippery. So basically lion is dragging only by his upper body strength. Even though adult male giraffes can reach a weight of 1900 kg, this one appears a little smaller. It's probably a sub-adult or a female, but it should be around 800 to 1100 kg. So this lion is pulling this much weight by his upper body alone. And just like the previous one, this lion is not one of the larger lions. In fact this one appears even smaller. Imagine what would a bigger lion do. Coming back to the subject, the most we have seen a tiger do to a carcass is flip this half decomposed gore carcass. And he did it with a lot of difficulty. Considering that male gores can get to 1500 kilograms at maximum, this one was half decomposed, which can be around 800 to 900 kilograms and not to mention that it was one of the bigger tigers. And it took him a lot of effort just to flip 900 kilograms. So in your opinion, which feat is greater? Flipping a 900 kilograms carcass, or dragging a 800 to 1100 kilograms carcass with the upper body strength? Alone. I leave it to you guys. Next up we have, Lion taking down a buffalo from the back with just his forearms. Cape buffaloes can reach the weights of 800 to 900 kilograms. This one is a bit skinny so it should be between 600 and 700 kilogram. On the other hand, Tiger couldn't take down this much smaller buffalo at quick despite attacking at the neck. 
And this buffalo survived this attack at the end. It's a bit tougher to tell from here. But these buffaloes look like domestic water buffaloes. Do not confuse them with much larger wild water buffaloes. Domestic water buffaloes only weigh 300 to 550 kilograms. So at first, we have a lion flipping a near 700 kilograms buffalo from back with just its forearms and a bite for the grip. And on the other hand, we have a tiger that couldn't bring down a 300 to 550 kilograms buffalo completely despite attack from the neck. Now I know some die-hard tiger fans will say that a tiger can bring down an elephant or a rhino, which is completely senseless because the reality is completely its opposite. And an elephant or rhino would completely flatten a tiger if the tiger does not run away. In fact, there is no terrestrial predators that can kill an elephant or rhino as a rule of thumb, not even a Kodiak or a polar bear. Leave your opinions in the comments below and also subscribe like and share. Now I will meet you in some other video.